Have you ever started a project just to find out you lack the particular tool to finish the job? The Santa Rosa Tool Library may have an easy solution for you. Borrow a tool just like borrowing a book from your library. I had a one client who asked me to put in a pathway which required me to have a tamper. Um, the tamper cost me approximately $35 and I was paid $45 for the job and I knew very well that that was the only time I was going to use that tamper. So I um, went online and found the Oakland Tool Lending Library and the Berkeley Tool Lending Library, which actually have been around for quite a while, and thought this would be a great opportunity to get a tool lending library developed here in Sonoma County. Most of the people who use the tool library actually feel pretty indebted to us because it's such a unique concept. Fortunately, we've had so many donations that we have often two or three duplicate tools. While it's great to have a waiting list, we definitely want people to use the tools um, when they request them because a lot of their projects are so time sensitive. There it is. Yeah, you have to push it really firmly oh, okay. for it to go in. And uh, so we'll just leave that on. And, all, and then the last thing you'll do is just plug it in. Plug it in. Yeah. And just regular? Regular standard okay. plug, yeah. Okay. And um, did you need any uh, ear protection, eye protection? No, I have ear and eye protection, okay. so we're good. Great. Um, and like I said, I hopefully I'll just do it over the weekend and um, give it to you on Monday. Okay. You know, most of our tools are a seven-day loan period, but this is considered a seasonal tool. There's a long waiting list, so um, we're currently doing a four-day loan period for okay. this tool. Great. We're pretty much here so that people have the opportunity to empower themselves and take on tasks that they might not normally take if they didn't have the tool. I might not have even attempted growing sweet potatoes or some other projects because I was that I can't afford to rent a rototill. So by having access to the material at no cost, I have some other projects that I'm now considering because I know the tools are available. It is truly a nonprofit organization. I feel real fortunate in a way to be doing this out of my home, although I am concerned about our patrons who come to the tool library and come to someone's house, and while I like to feel it's a very inviting place, it is more prudent for us to have a storefront location. I've had a few people say to me, isn't it really difficult for you to be at home so much, especially on a Saturday? I basically open my door at nine and I turn on my basketball games and my football games and play on the computer and in between all that I can assist patrons. The tool library is a good idea, but it, a good idea is just that, in, unless there's people to actually utilize the idea and take advantage of the resources. What major aspect has worked for me as far as Participating with the tool library has been being able to find out what's available on the internet, being able to see what's there, email, and contact them to find out, you know, have the material set to one side, and then being able to get the item and return it in a, a reasonable time. We'd like to get our volunteers involved with making how-to videos so that our patrons, even our patrons who don't want to borrow tools, can at least have a resource to go to. As board member, part of our my ongoing and our ongoing project is to keep the, the tool library in the face of the community and to increase the materials that are available to the community through the tool library. I found that just about everybody has had such a positive experience with their project and it's just really delightful to see the efforts that I've put in and our volunteers it really comes full circle when you see the patron turn in the tool and just thank us for what we've done. Borrowing tools is an easy way to reduce your carbon footprint. The Santa Rosa Tool Library offers hundreds of tools for landscaping and repair. For more information, go to borrowtools.org. Thanks for watching. Join us again next time on Snapshots, the show that brings you the small stories that make Sonoma County big in the best way.